they made my mural their school logo and they made a bunch of t-shirts asking if Brian Jason also, Willard's art has been uh, seen in museums the Calgary Stampede and hospitals as a teenager he and family members were homeless on the streets of Calgary they survived by selling artwork created by Ryan's father it was a tough living Ryan wanted to contribute more and he already knew he had the talent to draw I felt guilty for selling their artwork, um, so I started to work on my own artwork, and eventually uh, I was selling all of my own artwork. Uh, by age 20, I was selling all my own artwork, and I was living full-time off my art by selling artwork on the streets. Since getting off the streets, Willard has been able to make a successful That's living as an artist. He has gone to Indigenous schools and painted murals on the walls, offering tips on painting and wisdom to the students. I've been asked to come in and give teachings and all the teachings that I give to the students in each classroom I paint onto the murals. So my murals that I mostly do around the community are all ceremonial, um, traditional uh, artwork. The murals are just one part of what he does at the schools. Willard teaches about his Blackfoot culture and traditional teachings. So when I'm coming into the schools, I'm not just coming in and I'm a native and paint an eagle or paint somebody with a headdress. I'm coming in there and I'm giving them guidance and I'm giving them cultural teachings and I'm, I'm allowing people to have a, a better understanding of themselves and also our people. Willard says he is booked well into next year to create more murals in schools. He is looking forward to his next visit to a new school. It feels good. It feels good to be someone to inspire them. And I, I, I hope that I not only inspire them to be artists, but to be a good person behind the brush. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Red Deer, Alberta.